Meanwhile, the uh, ring's finalist, Tino Diallo, will be uh, first to go. And the fifth best qualifier, one place above him in Bollage Kiss. Zach Perillo, welcome back to him. Gymnast who's in his first ever FIG World Cup event. He only recently uh, returned after a long break from the sport. Nestor Abad, the second best in qualification, will be followed by Alexander Kunz of Germany. There is the top performer in the preliminary round, uh, Vincent Hurk. Israel's Pavel Gulidov, the third best in qualification. And Aiden Frick, his first ever World Cup event, the 20-year-old uh, from Alice Springs. Leia Massa Ferrer of Spain, sixth best in qualification, her second final of the day. Mala Montel of Finland, seventh best in qualification. First ever World Cup final for her. Not for her, Barbara Mokosheva of Slovakia, World Cup veteran, European Championship medalist. Australia's Georgia Godwin. Top qualifier, as we now look at Margot Dandois of Belgium, third best in qualification. Schenkebachkoi of Hungary, the eighth best in the preliminary round. Lila Mokai of Hungary, fourth best in qualifying. And we have Kaylee Anders of South Africa, uneven bars medalist at the national championships earlier this year and part of the team that won the gold medal in Pretoria. women's uneven bars and men's uh, still rings finals about to begin the warm-ups in progress just a look at the uh, qualification scores in the women's uh, bars final Georgia Godwin the top with 13.033 the only 13 plus score we had Barbara Mokosheva second on 12.967 and third on 12.833 Margot Dandois and we go all the way down to uh, a score for the eighth strongest in qualification of 11.667. That's Chenga Bachkoi. But you just never know with an uneven bars final. All can change. In the rings competition, top qualifier was Vincent Herc, 14.45. Second best in qualification, Nestor Abad, 14.05. So a four tenths gap between first and second place in qualification. There is somebody who knows a thing or two about victory in big competitions. Going to Martin Dolgopiak watching on.
Time to begin this men's rings final. We start with Tiano Diallo of Spain. Sixth best in qualification with a score of 13.1. Decent iron crosses to begin. Difficulty wise, 4.7, one of the lower scores that we'll see in this final. But he's reasonably well controlled so far. Just little flickers here and there, but nothing too big. At that time, unfortunately, a big overarch of the back is going to cost a little more. Decent dismount, though, from Tiano Diallo. So, Spain's uh, Tiano Diallo, first to go in this uh, rings final. His teammates. Uh, Getting us underway in the uneven bars final. This is Laia Masferrer. Maloney to transition. Paxolto loses the leg form a bit. Uh, not hugely tidy looking, but she's kept a sense of swingfulness. Straddle Jaeger, good catch. Came up well short of the handstand position there. Double pike to finish, Shalaya Masferner. He trains in Hirono in northern Catalonia. She was an uneven bars bronze medalist in the guest category at the Romanian Championships, believe it or not, last September. of the performance of Tieno Diallo. What a great year it's been for him. How exciting to see him contending for and winning international honours. 12.85 the score for Diallo so he's down by about three tenths in qualification and that is uh, all in the execution that handstand issue the line share it this is Bolaj Kiss from Hungary fifth best in qualification he's there somewhere I promise Nice handstand. Yamawaki to uh, Jonasson. His handstands have a nice, smooth and well-controlled feel to them. Little sideways up as he landed. 13.2 the qualification score for Bolaj Kiss. He's difficulty 4.6 and we have got a 5.9 difficulty to come. So that gives you an idea of the range of scores in this rings final. He won the uh, national title at the Masters Championship at the end of last year, Bolaj Kiss, and then took a silver medal at the national team championships this year and he was also part of the winning team
11.5 for Laia Masferder, so she's down a fraction from qualification. Now to Mala Montel of Finland. Just a reasonably tidy pack, Salto. And then the Maloney. Travel Jaeger. He was looking uh, okay so far. That was well short of uh, the handstand position, but the dismount was reasonably secure. Maya Montel, the second Finnish finalist of the day. 19 year old from Kempele, the south of Olu in the north of Finland. She has been an uneven bars national medalist. 13.25 for Bolaj Kiss. He's up by half a tenth from qualification. Goes into the gold medal position with six left. Twenty-seven-year-old Zach Perillo from Australia, from Malvern in the Melbourne suburbs in Victoria, and. Uh, a silver medalist at the national championships earlier this year. Nice start. Which has a little flicker to it, but he's holding it well. Little adjustment in the handstand again, well performed. Nice tight position on his Yamawaki. Level shoulder line. Fingers extended a fraction. This is nice gymnastics in his first ever FIG World Cup event. Zach Perillo of Australia, who came back to the sport in 2021 after a six year spell away. During that time, he did the Australian version of Ninja Warrior. He's a skydiver and a cliff diver. He's a fascinating chap, is that Perillo? For Montel, a score of 11.9. She's done well to improve upon her qualification display by just over a couple of tenths. A gymnast who won the bronze medal last week in Varna in the first World Challenge Cup of the season, Barbara Mokosheva, European Championship bronze medalist in 2020. Second best in qualification too. Fluid looking pack also connected to Ivan Leuven. Fight Jaeger Somersault. Good toe point maintained throughout. Lovely high water, nice dismount, double tuck, and she really got amplitude and yet floated down. That's a good display from Barbara Mokosheva. Where does Zach Perillo feature? Got to be better than qualification. 13.65 is over half a mark better than qualification. His execution. Taking all of that improvement, same difficulty. And he goes into the gold medal position. What a turn up for the books it would be if he were to win a medal. Now we have a look at Nestor Abad, the second best in qualification. Rings bronze medalist at the Youth Olympic Games in 2010 in Singapore. Good planche. As Yamawaki had uh, a nice uh, tucked position, really got the knees into the body. Just had to raise the legs going into the Maltese a fraction. Lovely swingful Jonasson into a beautiful handstand. That's good gymnastics on the ring from Nestor Abad. 
could well be a contending performance. Barbara Mokosheva, 13.3. She gains 0.4 of difficulty and there's a very good chance she'll be on the podium. But what about Georgia Godwin, top qualifier? There's her Pike Jaeger. And her Pak Salto. She's got such great power on this apparatus. Another Pak Salto. This time she adds the half turn in the Maloney to make the Van Leuven. She's a little shy of handstand from time to time. But the dismount in the double layout was well landed. It's going to be interesting to look at how that compares to the work of Barbara Mokosheva because Godwin had extra difficulty quite considerably after qualification, although Mokosheva has increased that to three-tenths shy of Mokosheva's qualification score. Meanwhile, Nestor Abad is virtually the same as qualifying. He goes into the lead. The big move in the first half of the men's rings final, Zach Perillo, who was the seventh best qualifier. And Barbara Mokosheva has also really improved upon her performance in the women's uneven bars competition. height that really was a super dismount from Mokosheva one of the best we've seen from her leader so far courtesy of this really well controlled performance Nestor Abad twelve point eight seven Georgia Godwin in second place Mokosheva holds on to the lead So there is the big change compared to qualification. Second strongest qualifier outperforming the top qualifier. We still have the third, fourth and fifth best in qualification to come. There's no doubt that Margot Dandois and uh, Lila Mokai are real contenders in terms of their difficulty and their qualification performances. Godwin had the higher difficulty by three tenths over Mokosheva, but the Slovakian's execution just uh, superb. Germany's Alexander Kunz. A score of 13.25 in qualification. Fourth best.
is a gymnast who's showing real signs of promise and real signs of strength there too. What a great rescue from the 20 year old. A nice straddle lever with a good balletic style toe point too. Alexander Kunz of Germany. We saw him earlier this year outside of FIG competition in the DTB Pokal in Stuttgart. To Margot Dandois of Belgium. Third best in qualification. So a little leg separation. Lots of form in the pack, Salto, and then overarching in the handstand. She's only 17, the gymnast from Antwerp province. Her first ever international final after making her World Cup debut in Cairo. At junior level, she competes at the European Youth Olympics Festival and the International Gymnics. Well recovered, purpose of this now, double tight. Margot Dandois, Belgium, good signs in her work. Nice sense of fluidity on the apparatus. Difficult occasion when you go into your first international final as a senior. feel for a young athlete on an occasion like this. We're going to see a lot more of her. She's got a very promising career ahead of her and one hopes uh, that this will just be a dim and distant memory when she looks back on a successful senior international career. She's full of promise. 13 for Alexander Kunz. So no change to the leaderboard in the men's rings. Abad, Perillo, Kiss with three to go. But we now have the top qualifier, Vincent Turk. Gymnast with already four World Cup titles. It makes that move into the Maltese look effortless. It's beautiful. It's a difficult handstand with the arms outstretched to almost horizontal. Oh, that is so beautiful. The way he opens up from the pike position into the iron cross. Just elegant. Rises up into planche so stylishly too. Excellent shoulder presentation. Flickers a fraction in the handstand. Certainly that is going to be a decent number for Vincent Herc. The gymnast who recently graduated in engineering. He's a mechatronic specialist. 12.2 for Margot Dandrois. And we're now looking at Chenga Bachkoy. Kachev to open. She's lost her swing, unfortunately. It has to come off. We're so used to seeing her in international vault finals.
trouble at the start and trouble at the end unfortunately for Chenga Badstroy. Just a compressed Chengabad landing. Easy lead, 14.6, Vincent Hook. He might well have won this. 6.1 difficulty score as well. Very important that, that he's gained those couple of tenths in terms of what he's aiming for as the year goes on, the build towards the World Championships where he will want to be a contender. Pavel Gulidov of Israel, the penultimate gymnast. Very good in qualification, 13.5. And he lives in this city, in Tel Aviv. Nice start. in the straddle plant he moves into the uh, conventional planche afterwards that's a difficult skill shows lots of strength oh he has a lot of adjustments as he lands at Pavel Gulidov crowd delighted to watch him perform has he managed to get onto the podium with that display The next gymnast, the last gymnast to go, had a difficulty score of 3.8 in qualification. 9.267 for Chengabachkoi. To the penultimate gymnast. Vila Mokai of Hungary, fourth best in qualification. 12.833. Oh, it's just off alignment trying to make that catch. She won the silver medal on the uh, uneven bars at the Masters Championships at domestic level in November. It's just not quite working on this occasion. Very difficult catch to make. Again. A young athlete, she's only 17. Oh, this is really unfortunate to witness. Every athlete, no matter how good they are on an apparatus has days like this. And a wise move, really, just to go straight into the dismount, to get it done, to not take any further risks. And it was a nice dismount, too. We'll see a lot more of Lila Mokai in World Cup competitions as her senior career develops. Thirteen for Pavel Gulidov. His execution just wasn't quite there. He loses half a mark from qualification. Now to Aidan Frick of Australia, eighth best in qualification. His first ever World Cup event. He's not a specialist on the rings. He's done really well to make it into this final. And he gets the job done perfectly soundly. Australia's Aidan Frick from Alice Springs in the Northern Territory. 
and he did very well at the national championships early this year when he won the bronze medal in the parallel bars competition and the subject of people who've done very well recently this next gymnast on the uneven bars we'll come back to her in a moment Looking back at this performance from Pavel Gulidov. Now we go to Kaylee Anders of South Africa. The gymnast who was part of the team that won the African title last weekend in Pretoria. That's the uh, Jaeger performed successfully. And dismounts well to, honestly, Kaylee Anders. She must be absolutely shattered after the week that she's yeah, had that brilliant accomplishment winning the title with the African team to go to the world championships as a full squad she would have been fifth in the all-around competition but she was uh, out of the final rankings in the two per country rule first ever World Cup event for her and for him 11.95 the score for Aiden Frick and that means that we can bring you the classified results in just a moment. We'll just remind ourselves of the display from the uh, gymnasts in this uh, competition. A very good moment for the Australian team and for one experienced gymnast in particular. Score for Kaylee Anders is 11.8. That's fifth position for her. And it means that Barbara Mokosheva of Slovakia has won the uneven bars title. As we have a look back at uh, this display. What a lovely moment for Barbara Mokosheva of Slovakia, her first World Cup title. The silver medal to Georgia Godwin of Australia and bronze for Margot Dandois of Belgium. First World Cup gold of the season for Mokosheva. She's been in such good form this year and now she's on top of the podium. The bronze for Zach Perillo of Australia in his return to international competition. Silver for Nesta Abad of Spain and the title won by Vincent Herk of Austria. The victory ceremony for the uneven bars competition at the Tel Aviv Artistic Gymnastics World Challenge Cup, the first of its kind.
Well done to Margot Dandois of Belgium. She didn't have the routine that she was hoping for, but it was still good enough to get onto the podium. That's evidence of just how good this young gymnast is. Keep an eye on Margot Dandois and keep watching Georgia Godwin. Why would you ever take your eyes off her? She is so internationally successful. She's back at international level and she's back where she belongs on an international podium. But this is the story of a gymnast who's having a wonderful season. 26-year-old Barbara Mokosheva from Slovakia. A gymnast who has now won three World Cup medals in a row. Going back to the Mersin World Challenge Cup last year. She then went to Varna last week. Her first event since that competition in Turkey and won another bronze medal but this time she's gone two further and she's taken the title it's her third world challenge cup gold medal her first of the season and one suspects there's going to be more to come this year from barbara mokosheva her dismount one of the highlights of today's competition and we'll hear the national anthem of slovakia There they are, the medalists in the uneven bars the competition. One more ceremony to come, the men's rings competition. victory ceremony for the men's rings competition at the World Challenge Cup in Tel Aviv. This is a brilliant result for Zach Perillo of Australia. The 27-year-old silver medalist at the National Championships this year who only came back in 2021 after several years away from the sport. He's joined on the podium by the silver medalist Nestor Abad from Spain, Youth Olympic Games bronze medalist in 2010. And Vincent Herk of Austria, the European Championship silver medalist a few years ago, and the silver medalist at the last World University Games. For the fifth time, Vincent Herk is a World Cup or World Challenge Cup champion. have the national anthem of Austria. 
gold medal presenter, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Suat Chilin is not only an FRG executive board member, but also an FRG vice president. Please, ladies and gentlemen, stand up for the national anthem of Austria. The medalist in the FIG Artistic Gymnastics World Challenge Cup in Tel Aviv. Three fantastic gymnasts. 